everybody, Tom Vassell here. And what I'm going to do in this particular video is I'm going to show you um, how we add games to the library and how that works. So this is our hot or not shelf that we use at the retreat. And some of the games off that shelf have been moved into the reviewing queues. Some are still in the reviewing queue, but some of them are getting added to the library. So, for example, Zapotec is being added to the library. So where are we going to put that? Well, I know that I'm going to put it over on this shelf. I just know that in my head. This is the shelf, the I call it the T shelf, or it's boards and dice. So what am I going to do in this regard? I need to take something off this shelf. There's no way I'm touching Cosmic Encounter. Get it, if you say that, you need to leave this channel. Um... And uh, Exodus Proxima Centauri doesn't really belong on this shelf, really. But here's the thing. We don't need three copies of Quack's A Quilling Bird. So we're going to take one of these, and it's out of the library. Now, of course, I'm going to take out those good pieces in it, maybe, or something. And Zapotec is just going to fit slide right in here. So it's on that shelf. And then Quack's will be processed out of the library um, as a heads up, folks, do not email me and ask for the games that we're taking out of the library. Um, now we have Tabanusi. Now, Tabanusi, we haven't reviewed yet, but I'm going to see where that's going to go in the library. So we're going to move that over here. That's also going on the T-shelf. And you know what? The fact of the matter is we don't need two copies of this unpronounceable game. So we're going to take one of them out. Now, I just picked up that one. Ah, they're both pretty heavy, but I don't know which one. But Tabanusi is going to slide in here real pretty. Okay, maybe not real pretty, but there we go. In. It's a little hard to do this stuff one-handed. So there's the T games. So that's how I put two in the library. And there's two games. Now, it's kind of easy to take those games out because they're both duplicate games. It might get harder than this. All right, let's continue along this trek here. So, Origins, uh-oh, this is another game from that same company, and that really should go on the same shelf. But now I've gotten rid of the easy stuff, so what we're going to do is we're going to take Exodus, Proxima Centauri is going to leave this shelf. Not because it's bad, in fact, it's a fine game. It actually is from NSKN, which is the former company that was Board and Dice. I'm just, it doesn't really fit here. It belongs on a Twilight Imperium style shelf. So the Origins goes in there, great. Now we need to find a spot for Exodus Proxima Centauri. So we're gonna come over here and what? There's an empty space here on top of side. Beautiful, it fits right in there. I didn't even have to get rid of a game that time. All right, now folks, I mean, I know some of you just fell out of your chair seeing how the magic works, but hold on, it's gonna get crazier, um, maybe. Clash of Cultures, well, I'll, we'll come back to that one. Iki, Iki. This game is a good solid Euro game. It really feels like it should be on this shelf, hmm, we're gonna go through these shelves. I'm gonna find something we no longer need. Moving around, let's see. Oh, most of these games, up. Oh, yeah, I think that's it for City Skylines. I haven't seen anyone play this one. So City Skylines is out and Iki is in. Going between Flotilla and Tobago. Oh, wow. Well, that was fascinating. Well, let's move over here and see what we're going to mess with next. Hmm. Camel up off season. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I'm going to leave this one on a hot shelf because I don't think it's going to go back. But look, X-Men United just fell into my hands there. Like, it was pulled there. And it's going to go right here because this is where the other Marvel United stuff is. But that other Marvel United stuff is going to come back. So I'm going to have to take something off this shelf. Now, I want to take off the villainous. There's too much villainous, frankly. But, hmm, Haunted Mansion. No one's really playing that. But here, oh, this is going to be sad news for people who like the new version of Bees. But this game is just not getting enough buzz. All right. Uh, sorry, that was Chrissy who said that. All right, moving back over here. Let's see what we have here. Great Western Trail. Oh, this will be an easy one. All right, let's see where we can put that. How about in this spot here that says Great Western Trail? Let's try that. So this one's pretty easy. We're just taking Great Western Trail, the old one, off the shelf and putting the new one in its spot. 
Now here's the problem with Great Western Trail is I think I had that old one upgraded in some ways. So I'm gonna have to go through that one and make sure I haven't lost any of the upgrades. So we'll just put it up here for now and we'll come back to you. Sorry, googly-eyed cowboy. Alrighty, moving back. Ooh, Horrified. This is the new Horrified American Monsters. So this is gonna go over here with the other Horrified, which is right there. Hmm. So what are we gonna get rid of on this shelf? I saw people playing Die Hard, so I can't take off that. The Back to the Futures, oh, oh, yep, dice through time. This is just not played as much as the other Back to the Future games. So that one's gonna come off so that we can put both Horrifieds on here because I do know that the Horrifieds get played, both of them. So it's now twice Horrified, or Horrified twice. Um, so let's move back here and see what we're gonna do now. We got this patchwork Halloween. I'll worry about that later. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh, Night of the Ninja. This is a social deduction game. So here's my social deduction game shell. Well, this one's a pretty simple one. Patriots and Redcoats. We're pretty sure that Sam Healy is the only person in the world who's ever played that game. So this will be taking this place here. Night of the Ninja. So that's going to go there. And these have been pretty easy decisions so far. Hmm. Ooh, the Night Cage. That's a dark thematic game. Where can we put that? Hmm. Not with the abstracts. It feels like it should go on this shelf somewhere, but I don't know where it would go. I got some risings there. I don't think we need all of them. You know what, we probably don't. We're gonna take off Harry Potter rising or Dark Eaters rising because, well, there's only so many things that can rise. So, bread being one of them. Oh, it's upside down. We'll fix it later. All right, moving back over here. What do we have? World of Warcraft Pandemic. That should go with the other pandemics. Now, this is a problem, because there's no room on that shelf. So, I mean, I would love to get rid of Pandemic Rapid Response, because that game's just trash. But some people like it. Let me think. The cure is not very good either. Um... Probably we should move Flashpoint to a different shelf. So that's what we'll do. See you later, Flashpoint. You're going to move. I'm not getting rid of Flashpoint because Flashpoint's a great game. We do want to keep all the pandemics together in a happy family. Even though no one would know this is pandemic, really, from the side of the box. So moving this one down. Oh, you know what? We no longer need two copies of Sagrada. That never gets played that much. So we'll take that out and put Flashpoint Fire Rescue there. Oh. oh, Seven Wonders Architects. That one also belongs on this shelf. Seven Wonders Architects belongs on a shelf of new games. So this one's gonna be pretty simple, actually. I'm gonna take off one of these copies of Azul. I really like stained glass Sinatra, um, but we don't need two copies of it. Will this fit in there? It's looking a little hairy. Well, yeah, it fit. We'll, we'll fix it later. All right. Night Parade. Oh, that's a tough one. And Dune. These are going to sit in the... I don't know if they're going in the library yet. Dollars the Donuts. Same kind of deal. No, I know where Dollars the Donuts will be. We're going to go down here, and we're going to get rid of one of these potion explosions. So, there you go. And... Let's see. Ultra Bad Company is definitely going to the library. Hibachi is going in the library, although I think I have the game that it's replacing. Although for life, I can't remember the name of it. Bad Company, though. Where can we put Bad Company? It's a dice game. So we're going to have to find something in here that doesn't belong. Hmm. I'm looking at these games, seeing which ones get played. We're going to be removing one of those tapestries. Because you don't really, we don't really need two of them. I think it's going to be this one here, actually. This is prehistory. No one's really playing this one, so prehistory is now history. And Bad Company takes its spot. All right. Moving over here, we have, hmm, Settlement and Camo Up. These are also games that I'm not sure are going to go in the library yet. So we're going to put them on this. Will they or won't they? 
right next to Ross and Rachel. Batoku is going to go in the library, though. Let's find a good... Batoku is a heavy game for people who like games that are heavy just for the sake of heaviness. So let's see where we can put that. That would be on this shelf, usually. Hmm. All these games are incredibly popular. Let's look. I think I've seen all of them getting played. Nope. Not Coralia. See, Coralia is a really pretty game, but it just doesn't get played. So it's not bad, but I know people are going to play Batoku more than that. All right. And the last square box we have here that we... Oh, well, no. Old Tree. Old Tree's probably going to go in the library, but I don't know where yet. Hibachi. Hmm. I really thought I had the game that this takes the place of Sun Freddy. Um, but, well, I can actually figure that out, where Son Freddy is, by going to our library book here. And so we'll go through here. Son, 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 son. No, it's not in the library. Well, good thing I got Hibachi. Hibachi's going in the library. This is a lighter game. So we're going to look down here. Some of these are probably coming out of the library. Let's see. Mm, mm, no, no, no. No, like that, like that. Wayward, Shadow Rift, Shadow Rift's coming out. Unfortunately, no one really ever plays Shadow Rift, so Hibachi will take its spot. Okay. Boom. Marvel Dice Stone is definitely going in the library. I just don't know where yet, so we'll move that over here. Vagrant Song is 100% going in the library, but not sure yet on that one either. Same thing with that one. Same thing with Land vs. Sea. Unsettled is a ridiculous box size, but... <gasps> I see a spot down here it can go in. Wait, no it can't, yes it can. Perfect, that's beautiful. All right, oh, picture perfect, that's another square box. I gotta get rid of another one of these lighter games. Let's see if we can find one that we no longer want. You know, I think I'm gonna get rid of Bitter Up here. I like it, but no one else ever plays it other than me. Let me see what else there is. Hmm. Shin, no one ever plays that. Hmm, Clanks. Oh, we don't need both Seven Wonders. We only need one Seven Wonders. So there you go. One is fine, I think, for what we're doing. So we'll grab Picture Perfect and move that into this slot. Picture Perfect is slightly higher than the other ones. I don't like that. So we'll have to figure out where that goes later. Okay, well, folks, I'm going to be moving some more of these around. But I just thought that would give you kind of a rundown of the process of how we do this. It's a little harder to do with a camera in hand, but it is how we put games in the library. We have to make cuts, and the cut might be one that you say, oh, that's not a fair cut. But I do think carefully, not so much what game I like better, but which game people will actually play. And at some point, we'll add another shelf to the library. But there's no reason to add too many shelves because not that many games get played. Anyway, that's what it's like in the library. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.